Hello and welcome to section 3.5. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different uh, ways of writing equations of line states. We're going to be applying what we learned in 3.4, it's kind of review, um, into 3.5. So again, a lot of this is linear algebra, um, but we're just working with lines and slopes of lines, um, parallel lines. Uh, so write the equation of line in slope intercept form. So we have y equals mx plus b in case you forgot what that looks like. Uh, b is our y intercept and then we have our slope. I'm just going to do rise over run here. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Down 6, so that's negative 6 over 1, 2, 3, over 3. I'm going to simplify that to negative 2. So our m value is negative 2 and then our y intercept is right there at 4. And that is the equation of the line in slope intercept form. Write an equation of a line passing through this point that is parallel to this line right here. So since the line is parallel, my slope has to be 2. That's the only thing I need from that line there. Get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. Now we have the point negative 1, 1. So right now, here's where I'm at. I have m, but I need to find b. You're going to take your x value and your y value and plug those into the equation to solve for b. This is a technique that you probably learned last year in algebra. And here is my b value. So y equals 2x plus 3. And there's the equation of the line that's parallel to the given line that goes through that point there. And then here we have perpendicular. So same type of problem. Here m equals negative 2. And this line there. So it's basically the same exact problem except for it's perpendicular. So my new slope will then be... I'm going to use the opposite reciprocal technique that we learned in the previous lesson. So that's going to be 1 over 2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my point again, plug it in, and that will allow me to figure out b is. So 3 equals 1 half times 2 plus b. Half of 2 is just 1. And then I figure out that b is equal to 2. So y equals 1 half x plus 2. So once you find the slope, this line is irrelevant. You're not going to use that line anymore. This one, the, it was interesting that the y-intercepts were the same. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, the graph models uh, the total cost of joining a gym, write an equation of the line, explain the meaning of the slope, and the y-intercept. So here, I'm going to take my two points, 2 comma 231. That's one of the points that they give me. And 5 comma 363. Uh, I could do rise over run, but the graph is, is, is scaled really bad. So I'm just going to do the slope formula. 363 minus 231 over 5 minus 2. So I get 132 over 3, and that should simplify. 4, 43. So that's my slope. So y equals 43x plus b. Now I need to figure out what this b is right there. I don't know what it is because it's not on a whole number, so I need to take one of my points, plug it in for x and y. I'm going to choose the smaller point. Uh, you can use either one, but I'm going to use the smaller values. 43 times 2. And that's going to be 86 plus b, and then I'm going to have to subtract the 86. So 231 minus 86. One forty-five. Okay, so b equals one forty-five. So my equation is y equals forty-three x plus one forty-five. Now I think they ask us to like analyze this. Let me go reread the question again. It says write an equation of line. Okay, we got that. Explain the meaning of the slope and the y-intercept. So we're talking about a gym, the cost of a gym. So if I go to the gym for zero months, it costs me. $145. So that would mean this is your like your 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 fee for joining. And then the slope is going to be your your monthly rate. Ever once you pay your flat fee, then you got to still pay $43 per month. It says to graph an equation in standard form. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve this equation for y. It's generally the go-to method for graphing is put in slope intercept form. This is a skill that you guys probably learned last year again. Most of these are. Alright, so now you have your y-intercept is 3 and the slope is negative 3 over 4 down 3 over 4 
and you are done. So there you go. If the equation is not in slope-intercept form, throw it in slope-intercept form. You're going to have a much easier time with it. Write an equation with an undefined slope that goes through one, negative 1, 3, and then a zero slope going through 1, negative 3. The easiest way to do this is to plot the point negative 1, 3. So here's the point negative 1, 3. The undefined line is right there. This one only goes through the x-axis, so it's going to be x equals negative 1. And then again, do the same thing over here. Here's negative 1, 3. Draw the horizontal line, because it's got to have a zero slope, so it has to be a horizontal line. It only goes through the y-axis. It's going to be y equals 3. Uh, those, are, those are very typical algebra questions. It makes it much easier if you just graph them. Uh, I'm going to talk about this question in class. Here's your assignment. You can skip the graphing part for one, uh, for the 62 and 65 uh, B part. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in to 3.5.